All right, thanks so much, Brad. Several charges this morning for two people accused of robbing seven Kokomo convenience stores in a span of three weeks. Police arrested Michael Fivecoat and Melanie Dively early Thursday morning. Officers say the two matched suspect descriptions from an armed robbery at a Marathon gas station about 30 minutes before. Police think Five Coat and Dively robbed six other businesses between July 10th and Thursday morning. Police also say Five Coat was armed with either a knife or firearm in all of seven of the robberies. Five Coat is facing robbery and burglary charges. Dively is charged with aiding him. In a scary crash in Indianapolis, leaving a huge hole in the side of a house. You can see that right there. Investigators say a driver missed a turn and slammed into the home. A 15 year old girl was pinned between a wall and the kitchen. It all happened around 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon in a neighborhood near 38th and Post. Neighbors say they're surprised this hasn't happened before because they've seen speeders zipping by. They want an intersection that's a one way stop now to turn into an always stop. It need to be a stop sign right there because that's where they be flying. They be flying most of the time coming this way. So when it's a blind side because you can see where them cars parked it on the other side of the street. You can't see when you come this way. You can't see a car coming this way at all. So you got to pause like you got to inch out there. And then if it's a stop sign right there, they'll stop. Police say the teenager who was pinned in the crash is not injured. No word yet on whether the driver will face charges. The Centers for Disease Control reporting two people in Indiana got sick after eating salads from McDonald's. The CDC revealed numbers late yesterday. Overall, close to 300 people in 15 states have gotten sick. That includes more than 100 new cases in just the last week. The illness involves a parasite that gets into the intestines. Earlier this month, McDonald's pulled salads from 3,000 stores, including Indiana. The company has been searching for a new supplier for lettuce. A factory in Missouri pleading for help from President Donald Trump. They've seen more than 100 layoffs this summer, and they say it's because of the president's new tariffs. Nathan Elgren spoke to the workers. Yeah, you can create jobs, but you need to stop and look at all the jobs you're taking away, too. Just creating that one or 200 jobs doesn't make up for the 200 that might lose their job here. Philip Bennett has been working at Mid-Continent Steel & Wire for four years. He says it's aggravating that President Trump is ignoring the layoffs happening at the nail factory. We're here more than we are at home. So everybody's like a family. So when you lose one, you do get bothered by it. So it scares you because you don't know. You walk in one day and say, hey, I'm sorry, we don't need you anymore. Or, we're, you know, we're having to make a cut or we're done. Chris Pratt manages the nail factory. He says more than 145 people have been laid off since the steel tariff took effect June 1st. Pratt says it's forced them to raise the price of their nails, leading to large cuts in sales. We're looking right now at August being 70% down from what it should be. And we're making decisions day by day based on sales volume of what machines we run, what machines we shut down, and how long term it is. Mid-Continent has written a second open letter to President Trump, which stresses that they want him to visit the factory and help them out. We want him to come here, be with our employees, shake their hands, and save their jobs. It's up to President Trump to sign the exclusions that we submitted. When you walk around and you see these machines not running, you knew that there was somebody there running that and producing nails. It's like seeing a ghost. I can see it every day. He can come down here in one hour. That's all he'll need to see what he has caused. That was Nathan Elgren reporting the nail factory filed exclusions to the steel tariffs. The company hopes to get an answer in mid-August. And we're learning more about a man accused of shooting and killing a trooper in Arizona this morning. Troopers say they got a call late Wednesday about a man throwing rocks at cars. The Department of Public Safety identified him as 20-year-old Isaac King. As troopers tried to take him off the road, they say there was a struggle. DPS says King took a trooper's gun, firing at a trooper in training, Tyler Edenhofer and others. Edenhofer died from his injuries, and two other troopers were injured. It's also evidence that um, just because somebody is unarmed doesn't mean they won't become armed and harm somebody. And in this case, what initially was an unarmed man armed himself with one of our weapons. Investigators say King has no criminal record but does have a history of mental illness. In Wisconsin, a suspected drunk driver slammed into a deputy's car. Oh, wow, you can see that right there on camera. It was caught on the deputy's dash cam. Investigators say the 60-year-old swerved and hit the back of a car, then spun out and hit another car. The deputy and two others had minor injuries. The driver was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving.
And in Georgia, two officers are off the force after using a coin toss app to decide whether or not to arrest a woman during a traffic stop. Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson were fired Thursday, weeks after the video of the April traffic stop was released. The officers had been on administrative leave before that, and the footage showed them using the app after pulling a woman over for speeding. The officers decide, decided to use the app after one of them discovered their radar gun wasn't working. Even though the toss ended with releasing the woman, she was arrested anyway. Charges against her were later dropped. Wish TV is proud to be your home for the Indianapolis Indians. Tonight, the Indians host the Buffalo Bisons AAA team for the Toronto Blue Jays. It's a doubleheader, so game one has an early start time of 6 p.m. You can watch that game live on our sister station, MyIndy TV 23. And happening tomorrow, you can get a car wash while supporting a local organization. Crew Car Wash is hosting an annual fundraiser for Big Brothers Big Sisters locations all across Indiana. You're seeing video right here of last year's fundraiser. The car wash is donating 50% of the works washes and the ultimate washes to the group. You can visit any crew car wash to help out. You just got to go between 7 in the morning and 9 at night. Last year, crew raised more than $94,000 for Big Brothers Big Sisters agencies. And coming up, can Tom Cruise take on Teen Titans? He'll try in theaters. A new look at the newest movies when we come back. Stay with us.